Well, hearing loss is the third most common health problem in the United States. It can lead to a multitude of issues, including unemployment, social isolation, and it has been linked to cognitive decline and dementia. And now there was a recent survey with some interesting findings. I'm joined this morning by Dr. Gus Mueller and Dr. Thomas Powers to tell us more. I want to thank you both for joining me this morning. Thank you, Heather. Thank you. Now let's start off by kind of talking about the scope of the issue here in the United States with hearing loss. Uh, well, th there have been several surveys that, that have been conducted, uh, and, and depending on the survey, the projections are slightly different, but uh, as, met, as many as 48 million people uh, have been identified as having hearing loss in the U.S. Uh, if we even look at the people who know they have a hearing loss, self-identified, uh, we have numbers almost that large. And the interesting thing, Heather, is that uh, that of these group, uh, there's only about 20% of them are using hearing instruments. In other words, 80% uh, are not. And relative to what you mentioned in your introduction, we know that this leads to uh, problems within the family. Uh, people get uh, tired of repeating. Uh, and then in turn, this might lead to social isolation by the hearing impaired person. And as you mentioned, there's been research in recent years showing uh, that this is now linked linked to early dementia and to cognitive decline simply because the people aren't hearing uh, and they're not socially active. So it's not just a, a hearing problem, it, it's, really, uh, it's really affecting the person's life. And some of this is not reversible. So um, we believe this is a, a real concern to, to try to help these people out. So, Doctor, it sounds like this is something that is really going to affect our quality of life, affect our relationships. So maybe kind of talk about some of the things that we can do to preserve our hearing. Well, you know, one of the things that we consider when we talk about hearing loss is, uh, you know, the two things that can impact your hearing. And, and one is the normal aging process. And there's not a lot we can do about that other than try to maintain an overall normal, healthy lifestyle. The other is noise exposure, uh, both uh, on the workplace as well as recreational. Uh, in the workplace, obviously, uh, if you work in a loud environment, headphones or earmuffs or earplugs, but also uh, we need to make sure we turn down the volume on other things we're doing, especially listening to music and you know MP3 players and loud concerts and so forth. Uh, the effects of that noise exposure adds to the effect of the aging process, and so you, you end up with sort of a double hit if you're uh, not careful and, and do try to use some kind of hearing protection when you're around those loud environments. So then doctors, are there any new and innovative solutions for people who are suffering with hearing loss? Well, yeah, the technology has evolved uh, significantly over the past 15 or 20 years. Uh, some of the things that are used as reasons why people don't wear hearing aids uh, is they, they sort of have this stigma about how they think they might look or what the devices look like. Uh, these are not your you know hearing aids of old, which were big boxes. Uh, they're very small, simple devices. They fit in your ear. And the technology inside uh, has a number of uh, digital, you know, processing that allows us to do a number of things and that is recognize the environment that you're in so how much amplification do you need uh, are you around a lot of noise so that the noise can be reduced we also have within the device a way to control feedback and this is another stigma thing that maybe their grandfather's hearing aid was always whistling and uh, I don't want to do that uh, we now have feedback cancellation systems um, the other thing is these are now becoming your communication device. These are becoming smart devices, smart hearing aids. Uh, they can stream Bluetooth. They can stream your TV. They can stream uh, your MP3 player directly to your hearing aids. So now you don't have to really do much other than link those devices, pair them, and now you have a communication device, a communication hub, rather than just your uh, hearing aids which, as Dr. Mueller mentioned, helps with reintroducing those folks back into all the good things about society and, and family interactions that maybe they were withdrawing from. Well, this definitely looks like an amazing solution for people with hearing loss. Doctors, is there anywhere we can get more information or anything you'd like to leave our viewers with this morning? Well, if they'd like more information on, on any of these topics, hearing loss, hearing aids, or the process of how you go through, they can visit usa.bestsoundtechnology Dot com. So that's usa.bestsoundtechnology.com. 
and they can get information there about hearing loss, the devices, and, and really how you can go about maybe beginning to make a step in the right direction on identifying whether or not you, you have hearing loss and what you can do about it. Excellent. Well, doctors, I want to thank you both so much for taking the time to speak with us this morning. Thank you, Heather. Thanks, Heather. Now stay where you are. The Morning Blend will be right back.